I'm really big on relationships and I'm really big on pouring into people. What I've learned is when you pour into people, you know, they give it back. So Alex, tell me uh, about your business. I'm not the most successful trucking company out here. I'm not the biggest, but I tell people all the time that there was a handbook for all the mistakes <laughs> <laughs> that you can make in trucking. I literally went through each one and did everything. I ended up actually going out of business within 11 it months. Didn't go so well. Yeah, it didn't go too well. I knew that it was just something that I did wrong. So I took a year off and I just decided to do some serious research. Once I identified what I did wrong, um, I gave it another shot. The name of the company is Good Energy. It's not a cool name. It's actually a lifestyle, and I've transferred it over to my company. We're a small fleet of about 11 trucks now, 18-wheelers, um, combination of drive vans and power onlys. How do you um, grow your business? How do you grow your fleet? I had to sacrifice things personally in order to take my business to the next level. So when I started making profits, instead of me using that and just spending it on frivolous things, I would just reinvest into my company. I went and bought the second truck. So my first truck ended up paying for that second one. And then the second one paid for my third one. And I literally just kept grinding it out, grinding it out. And, and, and we built it up to where we are now. So one of the first things you had to do was uh, find a driver. Uh, I started off uh, messing with Craigslist, man. Uh, posted an ad and um, ended up, by the grace of God, finding a couple good guys. What I do is I just set the expectation really clear from the beginning. When the driver communicates. That's one of the things that lets me know, OK, this is a good, a good driver. I have talked to Alex every day for the last year almost. <laughs> like, it's communication. It's a, it's, a, it's a big key in the game. You know, communication builds trust. You don't have trust, you don't have anything. One of the big problems in the industry is that a lot of drivers will drag up and go someplace else. Well, what, what's the difference that makes a company good to work for? Alex makes it hard for you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> he makes it hard for you to leave, and he makes it hard for you to turn down loads, because uh -huh. he always sweets the deal. My favorite phrase to my driver is that I'll pay you more on accident before I short you on purpose. It's just my honor to pay you guys. If you guys are helping me make a living, I love cutting a, a good paycheck to you guys. Is that your key to retaining drivers? Instead of just treating them like a truck number, I've actually created a culture and I've created a family for them. You know, they're part of something personal. I love the fact that it's a vital industry to the country. You know, if these trucks stop, the whole world stops. I have a staff of about 15 people, and just knowing that, you know, what was literally just a thought in my head has turned into something that pays people's rent. It's absolutely amazing and gratifying for me.